Your interview for bed and breakfast is tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's only a few blocks away. I put in a good word for you with Miss Angie, the boss down there. She'll be training you for the first couple of days, and if you get the job, you'll be on your own, and hopefully out my house. Lord knows I need a break from you. Um, I already got an interview at 9 tomorrow morning, and if I get the job, to provide a house and a car for me and Joshua and... And what? You and Joshua are supposed to just ride off into the sunset like some fairy tale? Child, please. You must think you're something special, huh? See why you can't keep a man. Well, we got that in common. And nothing much else. Because A, I got my own car. And B, I got my own house. And if you can't see that I stuck my neck out to get this job for you with your little I can do better self, then D is for door. And make sure you take Joshua with you. I'll have a job by tomorrow, Mama, and you won't have to worry about me or Joshua living here anymore. Well, that day can't come soon enough. Can't believe this, what I gotta go through. And I gotta tell him the same, same thing over and over again. You I'm here for an interview. Hi, Bethany. I'm Shante. Your interview will be in room 916, down the hall and to your left. Good luck. Thank you. Glad you all can make it. My name is Mr. Porter. This is a group interview for a single job. In order to get this position, you must solve the riddle on this whiteboard and use the answer to open this door within 30 seconds. If you are eliminated, you will get out of your seat and exit through the door you came in. I will be the timekeeper. I will also select the order in which each person is chosen. When we're down to two people, I'll flip a coin and the winner will decide who goes next. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I got a question. From what part of heaven did this angel fall? The name's Timothy Crooks, but you can call me TC, baby. Um, excuse me? Are there any questions pertaining to the riddle? Oh. So, can like we answer the questions together? Yeah. Me and my sister, we do everything together. <laughs> yeah, father says that we're like, two, two peas, peas in, in a, a pod. pod. Each person must answer the question individually. Oh. Are there any other questions? I have a question. Is the riddle a conundrum or an enigma? It's a conundrum. What type of conundrum? It's a play on words. What college did you attend? Some kind of Ivy League school? Oh, no, nothing like that. Just regular old high school. Just high school, huh? <laughs> you won't be in any competition. I guess we'll see. Are there any other questions? No? Then let's begin. Marcus, you get to go first. You've got 30 seconds starting right now. Yeah? Stand up. Go to the whiteboard. <laughs> nice tricks, Diane. Does he roll over and play dead, too? Diane, you 
good to go next. You've got 30 seconds, starting now. after I get this job. No, thanks. And what makes you so sure you're gonna get the job? <laughs> I don't know, I got a secret weapon. Tell me, you get to go next. You've got 30 seconds, starting right now. You seem like a man that enjoys the finer things in life. Let's say we cut out this childish gameplay. How much cash is it gonna take to send pretty girl and point extra home? 100, 200, 300, stop me any time. 400, okay. I can see you're in it for the big bucks. I can do this all day. 500, 600, 700, okay. 700 and the chain. Your time's up. I see what this is. This is a conspiracy against the beautiful people. Keep it real. Now we're down to our final two. So I'm gonna flip a coin and the winner will decide who goes next. Jeffrey, call it in the air. Tails. It's Tails. Who will go first? Let her go first. I don't have any faith in someone without at least a college education. Bethany, you're up next. You've got 30 seconds starting now. The key to solving this riddle is in front of all of us. Four people want to shake, but I want my pie. Lend a hand when you can, please. Okay, four in front of people. Shake my hand, please. Shake my hand, please. Good job. Hey, what about me? Oh, you can exit through that door. I have a successful day. You can go through that door. Bethany, hi. I'm so glad you made it. I'm Martha Turner, and I work in forms and accountable items. And this is my husband, Dennis. Say hi, Dennis. <laughs> hi, Dennis. <laughs> hi, I'm Dennis. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Just because those two are frauds doesn't mean that I am. The name is TC, and once again, I'm asking you out. And once again, I'm saying no. Hey, my name is Malcolm. I'm the senior employee here, and there's someone I'd love for you to meet. Nice to meet you. This is Ashante Ward. She's the owner of the company. I'd like to offer you a new home, give you the keys to a new car, and a signing bonus. Wow, uh, sounds great. I, I just have one question. Um, what do you do here? Hey, Daniel, you want to tell her what it is that we do here? I think I can answer that for you. You ever heard of a place called Sacramento? 